Hey guys, today we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna do an Apple sunscreen experiment. Now, if you wanna know what an Apple sunscreen experiment is, please watch until the end of the video. Trust me, you'll learn something new. Now, however, before we continue with this video, I wanna know whether this kind of video format, uh, do you guys actually like it, whereby we are we are doing little small experiments here and there with skincare. If you like it, click the subscribe button because it pushes more videos like this to more people like yourself. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Iggy, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the channel whereby we educate everything regarding skin and skincare. And today we're gonna do a little thing, uh, we're gonna do things a little bit different today. Now, what I have in front of me are very interesting items. I have an apple, I have a knife, I have a sunscreen, vitamin C, gloves, and q tip or cotton bud. Now, in today's video, I'll be doing what we call a sunscreen apple or an apple sunscreen experiment. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you the importance of using sunscreen on your skin. And we're going to be using this apple. And this apple is going to represent your skin. As kids, we know that once we cut an apple, right, it kind of changes color. There's an oxidization process going on with the apple. And because of this particular oxidization process, the apple turns to brown after a couple of minutes. Now, this is because there are compounds in the apple called poly phenols, which react with oxygen and UV light. And that reaction will turn the apple brown. Now in this video, I'll be doing a split experiment. I'll cut the apple. I'll cut three slices of, of apple. The first slice of apple is our control slice, whereby we're not going to do anything. We're just going to leave it out in the open for 12 to 24 hours. Now the second slice, we will apply a generous amount of sunscreen on the apple. Now that will give it a nice coating to protect it against oxygen and to protect it against UV radiation. And the third experiment is to see whether vitamin C works to protect the apple and in turn maybe protect our skin. So we apply vitamin C, a generous amount of vitamin C on the slice of apple and then top it up with UV protection. And after, let's say, let's give it 24 hours. And after 24 hours, we're going to compare the before and after of all three slices of the apple to see which actually gives you the best protection for your skin. Now, first up, I'm going to use an apple. Now, I'm not sure what apple is this. I just got it from the market. So if you know what sort of apple this is, let me know in the comments below. So we're going to get an apple and a knife. We're going to slice it up. But before that, let me show you the skincare we're going to use. We have a physical blocker here. This is... This is the Axis Y Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen. Um, it has the maximum protection that I can find, SPF 50 with PA4+. It is the kind of physical sunscreen that you generally use on a daily basis. Now, why do, do I choose a physical blocker and not a chemical blocker? It's because I'm not sure whether chemical blockers work on apples or not, because chemical blockers are conditioned or they're formulated to work on human skin. So I'm afraid that it might not work on an apple. Instead, I'm using a physical blocker that uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And for the vitamin C, I'm using the Dr. Demis 15% pure L-ascorbic acid. We'll be giving a generous amount on the, on the apple. And then the apple will absorb that 15% vitamin C. And then we top it up with this sunscreen. All right, guys, come closer. We're going to start. All right, so what I'm doing is going to protect my skin. We're going to use some gloves. All right. Now, this is the apple that we'll be using. I'm gonna slice it in half, and then from there, I'll slice it into equal parts. So, at first cut, the apple is nice, right? There's no browning, and we gotta speed up from here. Because the browning effect will start very, very quick. So, three roughly equal slices, all right? Three roughly equal sizes here. Now what I'll do is I'll use this container. I'll put three slices in. Okay, first slice, second slice, third slice. Now, for the first slice here, for the first slice here, this is our control slice. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm just gonna put it in, not gonna apply anything at all. Now, for a second slice, this would be drenched in UV protection. Now I'm gonna put sunscreen over it. I'm gonna use a little bit of Q-tip. Put a generous amount of sunscreen over it on both sides. And then I'm gonna use this 
rub it in. Okay, I'm gonna rub it in as if it's your skin so that it, I won't overdo it. Otherwise, some of you in the comments will say that I've over applied sunscreen and, and that's why the brownie effect is slower. All right, this is the second one. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, and for the third one, before we apply sunscreen, I'm gonna apply a bit of vitamin C first. Again, a little bit of Q-tip. Right, so, generous amount of vitamin C. And spread it around. Same with the other side. Generous amount of vitamin C. All right, gonna spread it around. All right. All right, the reason I'm doing this is because yeah, it's, it's, my gloves are slightly contaminated with the sunscreen. Okay, now after this, it's gonna leave it for a while. Sunscreen again, it's like a small amount on both sides. And then, application of the sunscreen. Okay, so that you guys can see. I'm gonna apply the other side as well. And this is the apple with the vitamin C. And after that, we're gonna leave it for 24 hours. And from there, we will see whether the vitamin C sunscreen combination actually helps the skin or not. Okay guys, here we have it. Three different sunscreens. I'll try not to cross-contaminate them. To know which one that I'm actually using or which one we're actually gonna be comparing with, let's take a Sharpie and let's label them. So we're gonna label them A, B and C. So for label A, this is our control sunscreen. Uh, sorry, sorry. This for label A, this is our control whereby there is no application of any sort of products. No sunscreen, no vitamin, C, no vitamin C, no sunscreen as well. For B, this is only sunscreen. All right, so it's Apple Plus sunscreen. And for C, this is the vitamin C plus UV protection. Okay, this is with the UV protection. All right, so stay a while. Okay, we're gonna put this in the sun and then the second part of the video, we'll be showing you the results after 24 hours. Hey guys, before we continue the video, this is one of the apple slices which we took from yesterday. Could you guess whether this is slice A, slice B, or slice C? Let me know in the comments below. And we are back after 24 hours. So the first part of the video, what we did was we actually took three slices of apple. The slice A was a control slice whereby we did not apply anything on it. So we're gonna expect some sort of oxidization or browning of the apple. Slice B was whereby we applied just zinc oxide or physical sunscreen on the apple. And slice C is whereby we apply an antioxidant, vitamin C, and then top it up with a physical blocker. Now, let's see what sort of oxidization process that has happened to the apple. Now, let's go to slice A first. Now, in slice A, there is some sort of oxidization of the apple, and the fact that we have placed it <laughs> under the sun, the apple has kind of shriveled up, all right? It has partially dehydrated. So that's why it, it feels a little bit spongy at the moment. Now, um, compared to the um, compared to when we first sliced the apple, there is a little bit of browning effect on the apple itself. Now, bear in mind we did not cure it, we did not uh, put any salt on it. So this is the original. This is the original apple, and uh, yeah, because of that, there is browning effect, and you can see actually uh, small strips of very very dark brown inside. Now let's have a look at slice B, the slice whereby we apply sunscreen, which is a especially a physical blocker. Now I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side comparison. Now side-by-side -side comparison, you will note that it is less dehydrated, less dry, even though they are both side-by-side -side and placed under the sun, and the amount of oxidization is almost at its minimum. Now there is some sort of oxidization process still going on in between, 
but not as much as the controlled slice. Oops, not as much as the controlled slice. So it means that the physical blocker has protected the apple from oxidization. Maybe a little bit of oxidization has occurred, but most of the, oxi of the oxidization it has managed to prevent. Now, what is interesting is, let's have compare this to slice C, the slice whereby we applied an antioxidant, aka vitamin C, and then topped it up with a sunscreen. Now, this is slice B. Now, this is slice C. Now, as you can see, slice C has almost no oxidization when compared to slice B. It means that the vitamin C has managed to protect the apple from any sort of oxidative, oxidative process. Now, compared to slice A, you can see that there's a huge amount of difference between slice C and slice A. So what is the theory behind all three slices? So the theory behind all three of this is that you should always apply sunscreen on your face because it protects your skin against all these nasty toxins, UV radiation, and as well as any sort of pro-oxidization process which will damage your skin. Now, as you can see in slice B, just by applying sunscreen or a physical blocker can actually prevent a lot of damage. However, if you want to take it one step further and you want to minimize the amount of damage from UV rays, from the, from the pollutants around the air, you should always apply an antioxidant prior to applying your sunscreen, just like slice C. Now, of course, bear in mind, this is just a simple experiment that we did on apples. It might not translate 100% to human skin because again, human skin is very complicated. But an experiment like this already shows you the benefits of just applying sunscreen. And if you have vitamin C prior to your sunscreen, it actually protects your skin even further. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this particular experiment. You think it's relevant to us or is not relevant to us or whether currently you are convinced to actually use your vitamin C in the morning prior to your sunscreen. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment below and do forward this video to your family and friends. Also turn on the notification bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. Now that's it for me, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor and always remember to stay safe, stay healthy and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.